Hello. Previously, I introduced the way to utilize the weather information from API by coding node application in this video. This time, I would like to introduce the way to utilize the response from API in SAP Conversational AI without coding any applications. At first, create the new bot. Choose Perform Actions, and I don't select any predefined skills for this bot. Input the name and description for this bot. Data policy is non-personal, and non-vulnerable for end-users. Then, push the button Create a Bot. Let's create an intent to trigger the skill. In this case, testing is the name of intent. In this intent, enter the expressions test and testing. If these words are input in the chat, CAI understands that the intent is testing. In the tab build, create a skill by pushing the button create skill. The name of skill is API calling in this case. Click on the created skill. In the tab Triggers of Skill, set the condition to trigger this skill. In this case, if the intent testing, created just a little while ago, is present, this skill is triggered. In the tab Requirements, set the entity location, because it is necessary to check whether. By the way, the entity location is the gold entity. Gold entities are recognized by CAI automatically with a lot of information, and existing as default. In order to get the location from the chat user, create the message to make the user input the location. In the tab Actions of Skill, push the button Add New Message Group. Select Connect External Service and then Consume API Service. Then, change the method to Get, and input the URL of API. I am using Open Weather Map API as an example. Because I want to use the location value from the memory of CAI, URL has the value surrounded by double curly brackets. The value for app ID can be checked in the page of Open Weather Map, after you've signed in free of charge. The URL format is as follow. Authentication for the API is not necessary in this case. Header is already filled by default, and it is not necessary to change it in this case. In the Response tab, you can check the format of response. The data from the API is input under body. If you input the namespace, you can change the key of JSON like this. In this case, I don't use it. Before going forward, let's check what kind of information can be taken from Open Weather Map API by using Advanced REST Client.
In this example, I am getting the weather data of Tokyo. This is the response from this API. I want to use this value in CAI. Go back to CAI, and create the message to show the weather description in the API response. Because all data from API is stored under the key body, the value I want to get is like this. Then, let's check the behavior. The result is fine. It shows the location and weather data as expected. Because the location is gold entity, it has many values by default like this. Let's use the value of city next time. It looks better than the one of raw. Change raw to city. Let's check the behavior again. Fine. The first letter of Tokyo became capital letter. Let's check the weather of other cities. Paris is scattered clouds. London is overcast clouds. This is the data and log of this chat. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check my other videos and subscribe this channel, if you like.